Have you heard about Toyota's game-changing innovation in electric vehicles? They've invented a next-gen 750-mile battery, which is a real breakthrough. This battery will be capable of doing this from New York to Chicago without the need for recharge. In this case, the question arises, what makes Toyota's solid-state battery special? Let's find out. Toyota's solid-state battery is an idea that was around for a long time, is now being implemented widely. They're much stronger than regular lithium batteries as they have an outstanding electrolyte as their main component. Regular lithium batteries have three parts, anode, cathode, and electrolyte. Alongside that, the electrolyte facilitates the movement of lithium ions. In the case of customary lithium batteries, this is usually a liquid or gel. Unlike other manufacturers, Toyota's batteries have a particular kind of solid electrolyte. It makes them more powerful than the other. Lithium batteries generally do not need much maintenance and can work for a long time without being looked after, unlike the other ones which may get damaged if not properly cared for. However, it is also very dangerous when they are damaged because they ignite with ace. This type is unique as it employs solid electrolytes in place of liquid ones. These solid electrolytes which have components like polymers or ceramics are able to make lithium ions flow through them while they remain solid. This minor modification results in a greater efficiency and a less danger to the user. The fact that solid-state batteries are a significant safety improvement over regular lithium ion ones speaks volumes. They are non-inflammable nor combustible as lithium ion batteries do. The solid-state battery won't catch fire because it is made of solid materials, and this gives vehicles with solid-state batteries the highest level of safety, especially compared to those using regular engines or regular electric vehicles. Apart from safety, the solid-state batteries provide additional benefits that make EVs more convenient on a daily basis. The materials inside the batteries of such devices are much smaller and lighter than regular ones. This implies that they offer a smaller footprint, which allows for more room inside the car and also makes it lighter. The solid-state batteries can achieve a better energy density per unit of volume than the conventional lithium-ion batteries. This is because solid-state EV batteries have a higher energy density compared to other batteries, meaning EVs with such batteries can travel longer distances on just one charge. Toyota says they will produce EVs with a solid-state battery that will be able to do 750 miles without charging. This indicates that you have unlimited miles of travel without a concern of showing an empty power bar on your dashboard. When it comes to the time when you're going to recharge your power, you'll be delighted to know that the whole process will take a few minutes to get your power back to full power. Solid-state batteries can charge at comparatively higher voltages therefore. They take a relatively short time to charge. Toyota claims that their solid-state batteries have the ability to achieve 70% capacity in less than 10 minutes, which is almost as quick as filling up your gas tank. But there's more. Liquid batteries have two-fold advantage. They are more convenient for owners and they're easier to produce. They can be made fast and in great quantities much easier than lithium-ion batteries. There are challenges though. By the use of lithium-ion batteries, you will need liquid electrolytes, but with solid-state batteries, you won't. This makes production simpler, and that is because of the fact that solid-state batteries use polymers and ceramics as electrolytes and therefore, they do not have electrolytic breakdown which leads to rapid capacity loss. In summary, solid-state batteries are far more superior to the ordinary ones in all their performance. Unlike that, is that the reality? In spite of numerous blessings of solid-state batteries, which may be a barrier for their implementation, they have some significant disadvantages. One of the most evident challenges is their limited practical life. Whilst they can outperform the conventional batteries in the service life, they require more regular maintenance. Electrolytes must be monitored in a timely manner and replaced if they degrade significantly to prevent the formation of dendrites which might lead to short-circuiting and reduce the battery life. Though the cost and complexity advantages of solid-state batteries may be high, the problems of scalability and cost still exist. However, the process is limited due to the complexity of solid electrolytes, which makes it necessary to use a wide range of exacting manufacturing methods. Nonetheless, Toyota has been actively working to solve those problems. They're the real deal in the racing world as they have their solid-state prototype that can last up to 500,000 miles with no substantial capacity loss. 
Despite the higher cost, Toyota tries to achieve the same level of production as lithium-ion batteries or even reduce the price of solid-state batteries by producing them on a larger scale. So with that in mind, it's time for us to answer the most important question. What is the time scale for the implementation of large-scale batteries? Oh, we're not close to the point of making a full release yet. It is true that Toyota's CEO, AO Toyota, has shared that the company will begin to fabricate solid-state batteries as early as 2027. Toyota is now well assured that the battery has reached its optimum performance. Nevertheless, he would also have those flaws checked by the testers. Moreover, via such a route, Toyota batteries will be able to concentrate on streamlining the production procedure and bringing out these batteries into the world of mass production. These initial production batteries will not be as strong as the 750-mile range batteries that have been promised. On the other hand, these batteries should be around 10-20% to better than lithium-ion batteries of the same capacity, which is a vast improvement. The first version of the solid-state batteries is good for up to 500 miles, which is indeed extremely impressive. Toyota's Future Battery Plans The automotive industry is in perpetual state of change, and Toyota is pioneering change. Toyota is familiar with lithium-ion batteries, which dates from a few years ago. The company, nevertheless, does not have a plan of swapping them out with the ones they produce yet until it becomes profitable to do so. This is because of the profitability reason. Although the possibility of cheaper manufacturing is there, solid-state batteries will not become profitable as lithium-ion batteries are at this point in time. Unlike others, Toyota has planned to provide the models with the choice of either a lithium-ion battery or an optional solid-state battery. It is anticipated that lithium-ion batteries will be completely outphased during the 2030s. Nevertheless, there is no evidence yet of the benefits of the solid-state batteries used by Toyota in our daily life. So, only the future can show us whether the company will succeed in fulfilling the promise. Many skeptics have observed that the complexity of making solid-state batteries is quite high, and therefore, mass production of these batteries will not be a thing in the near future. It is especially important in a production ecosystem which is tailored to the lithium-ion battery production. Along with the challenges related to solid-state batteries, another problem that is not exclusive to this type of batteries only, but also is a common issue in lithium-based batteries, is the problem that I'm going to mention next. Additionally, it is the ecological side of the production of these batteries that may cause this. Lithium mining is highly detrimental for the soil and water surrounding its active sites. Furthermore, it is the manufacturing of batteries that create many pollutants. In addition, recycling lithium-based batteries is as yet not cheap or efficient enough to be truly sustainable. Therefore, the automakers have begun exploring the options for electrically charged vehicles, which are not polluting. To date, two solutions have stepped into the foreground. However, it is the first step of the automotive industry towards the solid-state battery revolution. It promises a future where batteries are safer, more effective, and more potent by combining the potency of lithium with the safety and efficiency of solid electrolytes. For this reason, the whole industry has been taken aback by Toyota's new 750 battery. It's a huge leap forward toward a more efficient and sustainable future, not simply a step in the right direction. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Please share your thoughts in the space provided for comments below. For more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you watching in the interim.